I said it's a pu pu pu. I said it's a pu pu pu. I said it's a purple pants premonition. Hello, hello, and welcome to your purple pants premonitions for the month of May. Don't worry about what happened in the month of April. Just know we are here for the month of May. I'm excited to be here with my co-host, the wonderful, the amazing, the talented, the Gary to the DeAndre. Welcome back to the premonitions or May premonitions. How are you? I'm doing well. How about yourself? It's good to be back, okay? Because I know we missed last month or whatever. I don't know. It. Let's just say it disappeared into the ethers and now we're back again in May and it's just right back on track. Okay. Listen, <laughs> may not come when you want it. But it but always comes right on time. Always right on time. I okay. am excited. I feel like if I'm ever in need of, you know, some guidance, some, you know, some, I, today would be the day, the month would be the month, the time would be the time, and the the minute would be the minute. Okay, come on now, right down to the hour, oh, all right? <laughs> come on, the, the second. The second. Okay. That it is time for it to be a little reading. No, I appreciate that. And I'm excited to see what comes out for the month of May. I haven't I haven't dived in just yet, so we're going to be figuring everything out live together, just seeing what the energy is going to be, because I'm excited to see what's coming down the pipeline, especially because we both know that, you know, we got big things happening this month for the both yes, of us. So, yes, 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 yes. Oh, we're doing yeah. it live. It's giving, are we on a Gary DeAndre live on the Instagrams, okay? Okay. Are we doing a little something? You never know. She may pop out with a little something in the near future and be like, what am? Yes. <laughs> Because I feel like May is near. I feel like a tarot deck card is dropping. A tarot yes, deck is. card is coming. It's coming. Something's coming down the pipeline. You know, they said they said it was a little book and a little deck, but you know, we'll have to see what's coming. We'll okay, have we'll have to, to talk about that when it hits the hits the street. Okay, I'm okay. just waiting on my email because you know I didn't pre-order, so I'm waiting for that. You know, the tracking number to track. Mm, come on, the tracking number to track. Listen, it's on the way. It's on the way. Before you can even say hey, yeah, it's gonna be in your inbox. Like, well, then. So just wait on that. But no, I'm excited to see what comes out for the month of May, especially because I don't know. For me personally, I've been very like detached from doing my little readings and stuff like that. I've just been kind of like living. Um, and it's always really good to just like plug back in. And ironically, right before I had hopped onto here, um, I get like these uh, newsletter, like send outs from somebody that I'm subscribed to. And it said something about going back to the basics in order to just like reconnect to their spirituality in, in this moment of just like feeling lost. Um, and I don't know if there are a lot of people that are feeling lost out there, but I know myself, I can only speak for myself right now. Um, lost is definitely the word that I have been using in context for where I am in life. And <laughs> speak on it. Uh, cause I feel like I want to say April started off fine, but I just felt mm -hmm. like those last two weeks of April, maybe even into May, I, I maybe choose the word lost as well. Like just, I don't know, my spirit just ain't necessarily been right. And I've just been finding myself like all of the progress that I have made, just like emotionally and on my personal journey, I feel like the last two weeks is all just going to hell. And it's just like the old Bryce is back. I ain't got time. I ain't responding. I'm going, yeah. you know, speak how I feel instead of, because I've just been on this journey of, uh, growth, right? And mm -hmm. so if something happens to me or someone says something or someone texts me or calls me or something that I don't like, normally Spicy Bricey come on out and be like, Arr! but I've been really trying to work on hearing, mm -hmm. taking a step back and gathering myself and then mm -hmm. responding, right? And that's mm -hmm. like how I've been trying to move, but I find myself uh, and for me, that works for me. However, you know, the people around me and my friends, my family, sometimes when I take that step back, uh, it leaves them in a bit of confusion. Like, well, I don't know what's going on. And so it's like, for me, I'm just feeling like I can't do right. I like, you yeah. know, like I'm damned if I do and I'm damned if damned I don't. If I don't. Mm -hmm. oh, no, I completely get that. And that's also frustrating because like I'm trying to do right by everybody <laughs> right now. <laughs> But when I'm you gonna to do that. right by yourself? Okay, that's who. That's who always has to come first. Mm. Period. So 
I can identify with that completely because I feel the same way about these last couple of weeks, getting back to the old G, as I like to say. Oh. Okay. And <laughs> when he comes around, okay, anybody can get it. And things things are not the way that they, <laughs> okay, the way that they are in the mirror, things are not the same as they are in the mirror, okay? Oh, uh, let's say, who, <laughs> Child. who are you selling? Where where do these hips come from? Where, do, listen, I, but I'm trying to embrace where I am at today. I know it's temporary. And so, you know, you know, you gotta love on yourself, love on your body, love on this extra role, love okay. on the fullest, fullest or fullness, fullness of the face. Okay. Just gotta get into it no matter what. <laughs> I feel like my outfit today is the very so like I'm, I'm giving cow, and that's how that's how she's feeling. And that's how, okay. <laughs> and that's fine. And there's nothing wrong with that. And I can identify with that too because this is given. Okay, just just here with a little statement piece. Okay. <laughs> the doll. <laughs> okay, the cards are saying stop here. So let's go ahead and see what we have coming. Can I just get one card to represent this month of May? Where are we starting as far as our energy is concerned? Okay. Keep going. We have the King of Wands showing up as our first card. So the King of Wands, whenever it shows up, uh, in this deck specifically, I think about it representing you taking ownership of that next chapter, you really forging your own pathway, right? And whenever the King of Wands shows up, it makes me think of someone who is really, really clear about the actions that they are taking in order to make it to the next chapter of their lives or make it to the next step in the journey that they are wanting to take. Um, it also shows somebody who has their own flag. So it represents kind of like charting your own pathway right now. So what are you doing in the month of May that's helping you to chart your own pathway? Um, maybe there's something new that's coming on the horizon, speaking to myself, where it's just like, okay, like now I have to take the torch and I have to be able to blaze this new path in order to be able to do something brand new. What are you blazing the pathway in order for you to be able to do that's a new for you this month? And that doesn't have to be something that is on this grandiose scale of like, oh, like I'm uh, creating like a brand new routine could be something very simple like that. Like I'm starting a brand new routine for myself, something that I know that is going to be good for me and could also help me to be able to pass this on to other people in a helpful way. Um, it could also be something that is on a large scale. Like, hey, I have this project that I have been imagining and wanting to like step into. Now I want to go ahead and start putting some action behind it because I know that this is the time to strike. We are in this month of May. May is all of that nice spring energy that we have. You know, they say, what is it? April showers bring May flowers. So this is the time for you to go ahead, let those flowers bloom in whatever way that you are allowing them to. In addition to this, we have the Seven of Swords. So this is also, whenever the Seven of Swords comes out, I think about it representing people's secrets, right? So you can see... Um, the crow here has jewelry, um, has like a ring. So it's kind of like hiding on to those things that are holding on to those things that we find valuable, right? So I think of this in conjunction with the King of Wands as, you know, keep some of the things that are important to you to your chest. It's not important for you to just like run your mouth to everybody and everything in this very moment in time. Just keep it very, very close to people that, you know you can trust in this very moment in time. Um, I also get this as like, if you are in a place in the mind where you are not necessarily sure if you can trust a situation, um, then take a step back and think about that uh, because there's a reason why it's coming up as something negative or something like, oh, like this isn't functioning correctly in the spirit. And this is just like a moment for you to be like, okay, like I'm going to process this uh, of my own volition and I'm going to do what I think is right for me to do based on what is feeling right within my body. Um, sometimes people are going to be out to get you, unfortunately, when you are in the midst of trying to do new, new stuff. So you got to be careful with who you are bringing things up to in this very season. Um, 
what else do we have going on here? Subconsciously, we have the King of Swords coming up in reverse. King of Swords coming up in reverse to me is going to represent here. You have to have some sort of plan. Okay, so it's time to get excited about what's coming on the horizon, right? But you have to be sure that the blueprint is pulled together for you to make sure that you have some sort of sense of the direction that you're going. So what direction are you headed as you are telling yourself and telling others, like, this is what I came to do. You can see that the imagery has someone who is holding on to a bullhorn and screaming and they have their sword and they are claiming their space, right? But it's like, if you don't know what you're doing, then how can you claim space? <laughs> if you don't have the vision put together, how can you move forward? How can you do something? So that think about that even in the like emotional sense. Like if you don't know what you're doing with your emotions and how you are making sense of life for yourself and how you're getting your mind right, how can you tell other people what you are putting intention toward in, in order to get your spirit right? So it's like you have to be clear, clean, clear, and under control for yourself. And make sure that you're coming from a place that you understand, like, this is this is what's going on with me. And this is the, the pathway that I'm trying to make happen. And either you can be with me on this path or in this season, we got to, you know, go our separate ways or what have you. Or maybe put, put it on ice for a little bit. Or maybe it's just like I'm not giving you as much access as I used to give you at one point because you're not really helping what I'm trying to do in this moment. So this is what May is showing to me no, i felt that i just maybe i just don't allow you as much access as once before to protect my space mm -hmm. and i just uh i feel like when you were just talking i felt like you're in the middle of the ocean and when you're in the middle of the ocean like deep 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 down it's dark mm -hmm. and if you are trying to swim up to the light but it's dark in the ocean you don't know if you're swimming down or you're swimming up like you need to know the direction that you're going sorry that was just like mm -hmm. what i just was imagining as you were talking yeah. mm -hmm. it's literally like you have to know what direction <laughs> you are going and sometimes there's so much darkness around you that you gotta really stop and you gotta just feel your way through in order to find yourself back to the surface um and that takes time that also takes you knowing that you got to take a step back kind of similarly to what you said earlier about needing a moment to kind of just like catch a beat and then take a step forward uh, but you also the thing about it that's really important in this is that action that energy around being able to just like make a move because if you're not taking the action to move forward then nothing is going to happen you know what i mean like you can want it for yourself but unless you start doing it nothing is going to happen and all of the energy surrounding you right now is saying yes you can do it um don't sit on anything and think that like you've done enough sitting right you've done enough processing so you know where it's time to like make a move it's just about making sure that you have the clarity as to why you're doing it um your purpose behind it that's going to be really important for you during the month of may um, but we also have the four of pentacles and whenever this comes up the four of pentacles makes me think about the foundation um it makes me think about we have enough money we have enough stability but do we see ourselves having enough stability like you see on the surface we have the tree trunk and underneath the surface there's so many other things that are rooting this tree trunk into the ground right so it's all about understanding that like that foundation is there, but do we trust that that foundation is actually there in order to get us through this season, this chapter? Um, but the main thing for us to remind ourselves is that yes, we do have the capacity to do whatever it is in our wildest dreams at this very moment in time. We just have to believe it first and foremost. Um, and don't let people or things or places get in our way that are stopping us from doing what it is that we need to be focused on. So it's kind of like speaking to the spirit in the way of, you know, don't let any detractors get in your way right now because this is like the prime time for you to make things happen. Um, and also don't be scared to share out loud what it is that, you know, you want to you want to do, but it doesn't have to be with everybody. Um, Cause sometimes we get so excited about what we're getting ready to do that we want to, you know, shatter from the rooftops and everybody's not going to get it. 
And I think that that's also something that we have to be mindful of as well in this season. Everybody is not going to get what we are doing. So you have to be careful with just like who you're looking for validation from. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who you looking for, who you looking for validation from and why, and yeah. why are like, you know, and why isn't the validation radiating from yourself? Mm. Mm -hmm. It has to start within. Um, but you also have to want to have that be the place that you're coming from. Like, and you're the only person that can dictate that. So that's mm -hmm. that on that. I have one other deck I want to pull from really, really quickly. <clears throat> and then we will be done. So let's see what we got here. Girl. All right. She, she, she came on right on out. Okay. She, right on out. <laughs> she said, listen, I got some things to say. So our solar plexus chakra is where we're going to begin. The solar plexus chakra is the third chakra in the body. It's going to be right above the navel. Um, and this is all about your identity. This is all about how you see yourself. So it's going to be really important to think about how we see ourselves in the month of May. Other cards that came out talk about following your intuition, relying on your power. Okay. This is going to be really important for us to do this month, making sure that we trust ourselves, making sure that we trust our own personal power, making sure that we are understanding where we are coming from when we are wanting our wishes to come true. But knowing that sometimes there may be a little conflict and defeat because we don't get exactly what we want, okay? We may be wishing for something specific, but it doesn't come at the time that we want for it to. That's because we have to do a little patience and a little planning, okay? We have to do a little, a little work. We didn't do that patient, we didn't have patience enough in order for those wishes to come forward, okay? So we have to be a little slow with ourselves. We gotta be a little a little lento, okay? Um, and that's where we're going to see that love is going to begin, okay? As we allow ourselves to take things slowly throughout this month, we don't have to rush, okay? This month is about seeing every day as it comes and knowing that we are working towards something bigger. May is a, a month of 31 days, correct? So it's like you have every single day to make it Make it as magical as you want for it to be. But that also is just about you allowing yourself to follow your intuition and take your time with the things that you are building. Nothing has to be, Rome wasn't built in a day and your dreams weren't built in a day either. So it's like, even if you're starting over again, at least you know that you're starting over right now with good intention. So even if that's with a relationship that you are thinking about, that you're just like, okay, like I have to, reformat how I'm working with this person or how I'm working with this energy. Like you get the opportunity to start over with them and you get the opportunity to start over with yourself, which I think is really important. Um, Cause there's no point in us beating ourselves up about not having things together the way that we want to. So I think that this is just like trying to nudge us in the direction of be patient with your journey, be patient with your desires Make sure that you're sharing what it is that you need to share with the people that you love um, and taking care of yourself first and foremost. So the month of May as a whole, it's kind of just like allowing us to really just like focus on the direction that we're headed with our dreams, our desires, um, not necessarily getting too caught up in letting our secrets uh, fall out there in the streets. You know what I'm saying? Keep some things close to the chest. Um, but be loud and proud about what it is that you are getting ready to do and who it is that you are. Like, don't be scared to let people into who the real you is throughout this month. Um, and know that you have enough foundation in order to be able to do such. You've been practicing for long enough to be able to do this. So why don't you lean into it and see how the universe supports you as you are doing this type of work. So yeah, that's my <laughs> forecast for the month of May. Yes. I receive it. I definitely feel like it hits uh, some avenues that I feel like were lingering in my spirit and kind of like validates me in this journey that I'm on uh, of patience, planning, mm -hmm. holding things close, uh, not needing to share everything with everybody or anyone, um, and moving forward, knowing that you're anchored in something and, you know, 
like you said, Rome was not built in the day. Uh, yeah. And remembering that it's a journey. Yes. So, it is a journey and it's a long one. You know what I'm saying? The longer that you alive, the longer that it is. Praise the Lord on that one. Yeah. Um, so it's just like, keep remembering that every day is a fight and every day is an opportunity to continue to just like live through it and appreciate it and see what comes on the other side of it. Cause there's always opportunities for miracles and opportunities for blessings to come. Yeah. The door just gotta be open for you to receive them. The window gotta be cracked. Okay. Uh, so <laughs> Oh, yes. Well, thank you so much. Um, truly such uh, a blessing to have you every month on the podcast, delivering this spiritual forecast. Uh, very, very grateful. Uh, before we go, what do you have cooking in store for the month of May? Where can the people find you? What's the tea? Yes. So right now I am just in the throes of getting everything ready for the release of Tarot for You and Me. So, yeah, so we have the deck that is going to be released on May 28th. So if you have pre-ordered it, oh, yeah, here you go. Thank you so much for your pre-orders. Um, it's a queer deck and guidebook, um, words by me, illustrations by Jess Fosteague. Um, So I'm really excited for everybody to be able to receive this. Um, so I'm basically going on, you know, doing her little thing, trying to make sure everybody knows that where you can get it. Um, you can find it on my profiles uh, at Gangsta Gurry, Gangsta with an A, because um, we don't do that ER Buster ish over here, G U R R Y. Um, and then you can find me on X or Twitter, whatever you want to call it, same handle. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm just trying to get everybody excited for this this deck. This deck is a big. It's becoming a bigger deal as the days get closer and i'm just like oh my god like it's happening so the fact that it's happening is surreal so yeah i'm yes. just shook <laughs> yes 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 but you've been planning for it you're rooted yes. in it and so it's like don't let the anxiety of what to come scare you away from enjoying this moment right Mm -hmm. You know, like stands in it. This is something that you have, we talked about this. I want to say almost a year and a half ago. Yeah. Uh, and so like it's coming to fruition. And I think for me, just pouring into you a little bit, it's like uh, I struggle with this as well. It's like standing in that moment, taking it in. Sometimes mm -hmm. we just too busy. With, oh, I got to make sure I got to get this. I got to get that. I got to get this. I got to get that. I don't. So I, well, I don't. I don't. Uh, enjoy the moment. I'm always yeah. like, well, what's on to the next? And sometimes it's like, we have to be still. And it's like, you've worked for this and you need to celebrate it. So don't get all up in your Gary head about you got to do this. You got to do this. <laughs> You're not looking how you want to look where you thought it would drop. Like, yeah. this, this is the moment that it is right now. And this is like, we're going to stand in it. We're going to celebrate it. You're going to take it in, receive your flowers. Like this has been a journey. Um, yeah. And sometimes for me, I think uh, when I do work on projects and like they happen and they come to fruition, I think that some of the reason as to why I don't love to celebrate in it in celebrate in it is because I'm like, then that means like, what's next? Like, you know, I got to be on to the, but like, you know, it's just important to just be present and to know that this is a labor of love. You're getting ready to give birth to your child Ooh. and bask in it celebrate mm -hmm. in it don't allow your inner self to kind of like ruin that moment because like we all have that in us to like you know like oh and you know sometimes it's like that feeling of sometimes we always want to be okay we always want to be happy but more normal to us is being mad being angry and something and that's something that's like as weird as it sounds it can be comforting to us because it's a feeling that we're used to with something like and so like i just encourage you to like let's stand in and let's like actually celebrate this moment on this journey like you know we we hit in a pit stop where we can like sit and celebrate so i'm very proud of you i cannot Thank wait you. until it comes out the link for uh, the tarot deck will be in the description of this podcast and on YouTube. And, you know, we want to lift our good brother up and, you know, celebrate it. So thank yes. you for always pouring into the posse, pouring into me. Uh, we appreciate you. And this has been your May Purple Pants Premonition. Thank you. Bye. See you all. Puh, puh, puh. I said it's a puh, puh, puh. I said it's a puh, puh, puh. I said it's a purple pants premonition.